85 degrees here on December the 15th. Ridiculous weather, guys. It's really nice today. I can't believe it's this warm. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, but for today, it's pretty nice. Got a few things going on today. We're gonna head down to that barn that I showed you guys in the last video. There's some cinder blocks I wanna grab out of there that my neighbor gave me. And we're gonna put them in the big tool rack. And I talked to my buddy Tony about this. He already done it. And I'm going to attempt to add some more ballast to the back of the tractor. I got the tool rack on here. And this thing right here weighs about 300 pounds. So there's 300 pounds of ballast. If you're not familiar with that, that's added counterweight to the back of your tractor. So we've got 400 pounds per tire. There's 800 pounds. We've got 300 pounds with the big tool rack. And I also have some suitcase weights back here. Watch out, little girl. I got four of those, and those weigh about 40 pounds a piece. And the tool rack guy says you can put, you know, three on each side. But this tractor has a really good sized draw bar, and I'm glad it's like it. It's heavy duty. And if I add one more of these suitcase weights, it's going to start hitting that draw bar, and I don't want to do that. You can add 600 pounds to the tool rack. When you got heavy weight, such as big logs like we have here at the mill on the front end loader, you want to counter that the best you can because it's more stable, a lot more safer. So I was talking to Tony about this. I'll leave a link down below to his channel, Tony's Tractor Adventures. He's been on this channel in the past. He actually brought this tractor to us about three months ago. A good guy. So we was talking about adding ballast, and those suitcase weights are not cheap. They're about $100 a piece shipped to you. And since I can't add any more, he said get some cinder cap blocks and take up this little rubber mat right there and lay them down flat and elevate your floor just a little but that would be a good way to add ballast without having to go spend any money especially since my neighbors give me some of them so we'll head on down here to the barn and take this mat up and line this with those cap blocks and get us some free ballast guys can't beat it friends a little bit more daylight today i'll show you guys this barn again here pretty fast get a better view of it it's probably about it's probably about 15 feet tall right there a lot of good logs in there and i was looking at them earlier today and i came down here to check the mail looks like we got some white oak up there a little bit of bark on that one and above that one is actually a full length hand hewn beam and I have no idea what it's doing up there because it's got joist pockets or something hewn in the bottom of them right there on the bottom of that beam. That's probably not original to this unless they're just building it with pieces they had laying around. Kind of interesting there what that's about. So right here's what we're after. Those cap blocks right there. I might need some more, but that would definitely get me started. fit right there I got five of them in here and I found some broken pieces just the right size for that gap not bad I think these weigh about 30 pounds a piece so maybe 150 160 pounds extra we'll take it guys can't beat it right there because it didn't cost us nothing that worked out just fine friends got plenty of room in here still Got a rubber mat on top. Close the tailgate. Head up to the sawmill. I'm tickled to death. All right, 
right guys, first thing on the list today is to finish up this pine. That one right there is four inches. We'll break that down into two by fours. Do a two by six on that one and do two by fours on those. I think there's three planks in there. So we'll get that knocked out real fast. Then we'll talk about these right here. That's some white pine. I think they're about 10 or 12 feet long. So if you're not familiar with real two by fours, this is what you're looking at. The width is actually four inches and two inches. Good stuff right there. You go to Lowe's, you're not gonna see real two by fours. I like the real stuff, guys. Looks real good. Nice timber on the mill today. That pine sawed up really well. Let's go over a few things real fast. We'll start on that white pine. I'll probably get one of them done tonight. We'll come out tomorrow and do the other ones. We'll go ahead and cut them to length tomorrow as well. There's cabbage up here with us tonight. We'll also go ahead and burn those because they're gonna be for the timber frame. And finally, my axe is here. I did a pre-order on this over the summer and uh, this is the same one that we're doing the giveaway on. And this cat is wearing me out. I wish you'd go somewhere. I'm trying to do something here, bud. It's an FSS. Federal Service Supply Reissue Boys Axe, two and a half pound head on a nice hickory handle. This is made by Council Tool. Whiskey River is the company that's actually doing a big promotion with it. And that's where I got mine at. And if you want one of these axes, friends, now's a good time to get one. I, now this is not a paid sponsorship or nothing like that. I bought this one last summer on pre-order. 
You can get them for about $100. I'll leave a link down below to Whiskey River's website. You can go check it out and order your own. He was hoping to have some extras in. I talked to him the other day and he does have plenty on hand. So if you go over there real fast, you might grab one before they're gone. But a really nice little boys act right here. Really nice acts. So on to the other news, Gil Dorman, and I'm probably butchering your name, Gil, is the winner. I contacted him last night. I got his email address through his account because he actually has a, uh, a YouTube channel as well. So I got his phone number and hollered at him. And he won the acts on the giveaway and we'll be getting that up to you. Whiskey River's gonna be shipping it to you, buddy. And I'll get the tracking number forwarded to you as well as soon as it heads that way. But it's going to Alaska. He lives up in Alaska, up in Anchorage. So it might be a while before this acts gets to you, bud. So on to the saw in here and we'll call it a day. We got a white pine to put on. We're gonna do two by tens on that. A true two inches on the thickness, but on the width, I'm doing nominal sizes like you would see in Lowe's. I'm gonna do nine and a quarter. And the reason being, I got about four or five 12 foot two by tens I got at Lowe's years ago. I don't know why I even got them. I've had them for a long time. And we're gonna be using those on the barn for headers for the uh, trusses to set on. And I'm gonna do a double header with my own two by 10. So I want those to match. The thickness is not as important as the width. They gotta be the same width or it's not gonna match up well. So, all right guys, I'm gonna start this engine up before the cats take over and run them out of here and we'll get to sawing. Bruno has petted these cats to death. It's ridiculous.